Hello, my name is Bob Ricard. I'm uh, a senior extension educator here at the University of Connecticut with the Department of Extension. We're shooting a video today in order to discourage these practices that are killing trees uh, and, and often very young trees of what we call volcanic mulching. And simply put, what it is is putting way too much mulch onto trees after planting or maintaining them and, that, and the effect is they're killing the trees. Uh, it's a phenomenon all across the state, uh, around the country per, uh, as a matter of fact. And so this is, the intention here is to teach you how not to plant a tree and how not to mulch a tree. We mulch a tree for several reasons. It protects the tree from lawn mowers and string trimmers. It aids in keeping the soil moist. It keeps the ground cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter. It improves soil structure, aeration, and prevents soil erosion and runoff. So here we have an example of what I would call is a vol volcano mulch. We have almost up to a foot, we'll measure shortly, of, of mulch going up the side of the bark of this tree. We can always already hear that it's starting to get pulpy. Uh, so I'm going to excavate this to just see what's going on uh, with this tree that's going down. And uh, so I'm going to carefully excavate with a trowel. I'm not going to hurt, hit it like this or this because that would damage the bark and probably damage the cambium, sensitive cambium land that below uh, the cambium layer carries and transports up and down the tree nutrients, water, and so forth. So we'll just peel away. The bark is the outermost protective layer of a tree. To properly function, bark needs to be exposed to air. Mulch softens the bark and allows organisms like varmints, insects, bacteria, virus, fungi to penetrate into the tree. Over time, a mulch volcano will kill the tree. And you can see it's starting to discolor here. And if I go gently, we're going to start seeing roots that are coming out of the side of the tree. So I'm starting to get some soil, some sandy soil. Here's some more, here's some roots coming out of the side of the tree, coming up out of the root ball. And I still haven't, here's some more roots. So the tree trunk is sprouting roots, which we don't want. We want the roots to sprout the roots. That's a great example of one. It's easy to properly mulch a tree. Before you apply mulch, remove any weeds from around the tree. The mulch ring should be two to three feet wide around the tree trunk radius. The maximum depth of mulch should be two to three inches because the tree roots need to breathe. Taper the layer to the grass at the edge of the ring. Aged wood chips or shredded bark are the best choices for mulch. Mulch shouldn't touch the bark of the tree at all. Trees 10 inches in diameter and larger don't need mulch. And there's the root flare. So as you can see, it's pretty deep. And I'm measuring about eight inches of the tree. So that's bad. <laughs> that's way too deep. So the thing to do is ideally you, uh, to re, re um, rehab this site is remove almost, almost probably three quarters of this stuff. All this decaying mulch and so forth is turning to rich soil and keep that wide open. So you would just simply remove this down to about two or three inches and keep that wide open. I'd remove, carefully remove these roots and that would be rehabbed. So help your trees live long, healthy lives by correctly applying mulch. You can visit one of our nine Yukon Extension Master Gardener locations statewide or call or email with questions.